This is WASRC. I'm going to take a in-depth look of the WASRC repeater system. Operating on a frequency of 446.15 MHz with a minus offset and a PL of 100 Hz. The repeater unit we got the Vertex VXR9000 6 channel 1. We have here time converting it down to the amateur bands because there is no documentation, no help, no anything. This knob that's the volume for the speaker. The speaker it has from the receiver. Like for example, let me move it up here. Seventy two. Let me just for some testing. And I'll notice as I increase the volume, you'll hear the audio come back. So that works. To put it as a seat testing. And then I roll it back out. So, this is a speaker for the W8SRC. Duplexer to buy decibel products. And yeah, if you look on the back side, you will see the cans. This is the trim mid side. This is the receive side of the duplexer. This is the entire back side. It's for the vertex connections. Okay, now I've got our column RCT channel repeater controller. Oh, my microphone. We got a power connect here. And we got digital, I guess. And then we got a connection for port one for the repair. These two projects are for port two as a remote base for, with this TS2000. And port three as an echo light node. Go to the front of the controller. See, it's the Arcom RCT Channel Operator Controller. It's version 6.03. It's the latest firmware. We've got. Uh, what is that? PTT lights, transmit lights, COS, receive lights, CGTSS or PL lights, and DTMF whenever a DTMF digit is present. That lights up. For example, now I've seen the PTT light is up, meaning that it's transmitting. COS light is up, meaning that the repeater is receiving a signal. CGCSS, meaning the repeater is receiving the 100 Hz PL. And then when I let go of the PTT, now it indicates transmit. Same for the repeater, that indicates that it's transmitting. That indicates it's receiving a signal. 
clear this receipt. That's the power switch. For repeater information, identify and press 411. This controller allows me to, to use a command like that. 411 and everything else. We've also got the auto delay board on somewhere in here, somewhere in the rack of the controller. And where I'm using this test radio. For example, if I were to queue up now, you notice the delay. Feet feet testing. Testing. Feet 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 testing. When you're in CTCSS mode, when you're in tone squats mode on your radio. And other than that, I'll show you the sensors. Okay. We've got connected to the AD jack. We've got the three LM335Z on our repeater. Uh, temperature sensors. Okay. This long one is going all the way up through here. The way to that cable to the outside, and it's pretty accurate. It gives pretty accurate readings, even though it's not all the way outside. Sometimes a little on the high side, a little on the low side, but overall. For example, I'll just demonstrate now on this radio. 401 is the code. The correct outside temperature is 31.8 degrees. Yeah. Let me try something else. Okay. We've also got a repeater temperature sensor. You'll notice the DTMF light says it receives the DMF signals. That light just went off. The correct repeater transmitter temperature is 87.5 degrees. Okay. So, inside the repeater heat sink, it's 87.5. And then we've got inside temperature as well. The correct repeater site temperature is 74.4 degrees. I have a feeling that's pretty accurate as well. <laughs> it definitely feels like 74.4 in here. <laughs> but... <clears throat> so, basically... Second... Something is going on that heat sink right here. And then the last thing is off the heat sink, I guess. I don't exactly know. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm see repeaters in some of the times. It's also got a DVR echo test feature. For example, demonstrate that now. Ready. 
Typically read up for C, testing. One, two, three. You can see right before the hang time goes. You just saw the controller light go uh, off before the repeat light, uh, transmit light. Like I said, that's to avoid the loud squelch crash when in CTCSS mode, which I am not. But this radio is, so turn this down. And you'll notice as I key up. As I close the speaker. For repeater information, identify and press 411. Right after that DVR chart, nothing, no squelch to anything. It's because of this alone does not transmit a PL tone. The controller does it, I think. That's why, for example, uh, if I were to whoops, transmit with no tone, I see the light go. You won't even hear the audio. I never see it on the speaker. So the audio is. It receives the PO, but it doesn't transmit it, I guess. So you'll see that. And then you'll see that. Notice that there's no PTT light, so. Yeah. So when I transmit, everything goes on. Simply wait, SRC. Okay, there's the double delay SRC repeater system. In depth look. So, moving out, this is double delay SRC.